Good afternoon, everybody. What is going on? I am Jeff Grant Media, and today I am joined by... Hazza! Hazza! Oh. <laughs> and we will be doing an unboxing of this Dubu heated jacket. What's Dubu mean, Dada? It is the name of a company, and I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. But... Maybe I'm... Vubu. No, it's D-E-W-D-U. I will probably get flamed in the comments section for pronouncing it wrong, but uh, I asked them how to phonetically pronounce it. They did not reply, so I'm calling it Dubu, and we'll just see what happens. But, the disclaimer. Dubu did send me this jacket for free, but all the opinions in this video and the forthcoming review are going to be mine and mine alone. I did not share this content with Dubu prior to publication. They will see this when you do. You shared it with me. I'm sharing it with you right now. Okay, now we're gonna open this box. We have a box cutter. We have a Hazel. So Hazel, I need you to sit back and keep your fingers and hands closely to yourself. So I'm going to cut this box open and I do not want to hurt you, darling. Actually, okay. it's already, uh, it was already busted open and retaped. I'll help you. Good, rip it. I'm really yeah. strong, you I should guys. also point out too, they, uh, they spelled my name wrong. My name is not that hard to spell, but 90% of the people that write my name, by full name, Jeffrey, spell it wrong. It's uh, Jeffrey, not Jeff Erry. It is not pronounced E-R-Y, nor spelled E-R-Y. It is R-E-Y. Anyway, I digress. Let's see what's inside. I'm just gonna put this right here. You know that I am strong. She's very strong. I can flip the box, watch. Okay, flip the box. All right, you want to open it? Yes. Okay. But can I go back in the box? Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking your lap, actually. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, never mind. That's the box. I thought it was a can address. Can on your lap? Yeah, go ahead. Go to open the box. Okay. Ooh, voodoo. It says, voodoo. safety and innovation say hi to warmth. Dubu, heated apparel. Dubu. All right. It's Dubu. I knew it. It's Dubu. Okay, you're gonna see this before we are, cause we're opening the box towards ourselves. We have the jacket and we have the 12 volt adapter, which. Daddy got the map. Crack it on open. Okay, so we have the cable to charge it and we have is that a charger cable this is our power supply that um you can't see that it's either a nine or a six i don't know which direction this is i guess i'm guessing a nine. it's 6d 6d because there's a 60? very tiny DC here, so I'm guessing that's the way. So I'm guessing this has a 60% battery. Okay, so this does, this does have a soft shell feeling to it. It feels like a soft shell jacket, but a lined insulated soft shell jacket. So it does have, okay, so there is a liner. It does feel kind of thick. So it does feel like there's insulation in here because I believe this has five, um, five coils. There should be belly, chest, one in each sleeve, and then one big one across the back. So this should have five points of heat to it. And I will say the advantage of this over the other heated jacket I have, the sleeves are heated in the Debu as opposed to the other one, so you should have a little bit extra warmth kicking in from the sleeves themselves. Now, this button right here on the chest is the power button, and it should also change the uh, the zones. I don't know if this one's fully zoned. I didn't fully read up on this one yet uh, because I forgot it was coming. It kind of got lost in the mail, and I didn't have it for a while. All right, so this has a DC plug. So the uh, USB-C is only for um, charging of the brick, the power brick. So if you plug it in, 
It has its own little pocket here that you can toss it into in zipper. So we can close that off and then let's see if this thing lights up. Now the switch appears to have the zones by just pressing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and guess blue is the lowest setting. Green will be the medium and red will be the warmest, hottest setting. But this is a size medium and uh, Does it look good on me? It's, I can feel it. It is the getting warm. I can feel it in the back. Be, the best one is supposed to be on the body mm -hmm. and um, the back yes, and the shoulder. Well, it's heating up. I can feel it heating up right now. I can feel it in the back of my arms. Hazel, put your hands like right here. Oh, that's can you feel it? Yeah. That's I have it. I have it on red, so I think this is the highest setting. I will say this does feel looser than my other heated jacket, so it does feel a little more comfortable. Um, it does have two pockets on each of the arms, which I hate. I will probably never use these because when you do put something in here, it feels bulky and it usually feels restrictive. But at least there is only a single pocket on the sleeve as opposed to my other jacket it has two and it feels very, very bulky because the uh, zippers kind of just feel stiff. So it really doesn't feel good when you're trying to bend your arms. I can really feel the heat right now in my back, right in here. And I can actually feel the coil in this jacket. I can feel where the coil's at. It's like on the back of my arms, in my back. I can't really, okay, that if I press the jacket against my body, I can feel it. So it's, I don't feel it in the chest. I'm feeling it in the body. So it's one, two, maybe it's just, hmm, it's hard to feel it. I'm trying to feel where it's at. I changed the temperature setting. Is it cold? No. You change it to cold, I think. Well, I think there's. Oh, that feels warmer. Oh. Well, yeah, it's hotter. Yeah, I feel it like right here in the belly, not so much in the chest. And then I feel oh, it. Oh yeah, like, it's hot. Yeah, you feel it. Yeah, I feel I it in like my, my triceps. I feel it, in, I feel like it my, inside your pocket. I feel it right back here. My hands. My, my hands were sweating. Your hands sweating. I feel it more in my triceps. But the jacket itself feels pretty comfortable. It doesn't feel as bulky as I was expecting. Um, the, the battery bank is adding a weight to it, obviously, but you know you need to have the power source to power the jacket. But it does feel pretty good. Now sitting down, the first thing I noticed as soon as I sat down, I can feel the battery pressing into my body. I did not adjust it yet. I do keep my phone in my left pocket, so the battery is kind of pressing against my phone and kind of coming up and digging into me. So if I take my phone out of my pocket, and sit back down. I could still feel it. It didn't, it's not pressing into me as much as it was with my phone in my pocket. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with my phone because I generally keep my phone in my left chest pocket. This jacket does not have a left chest pocket. So I'll probably end up keeping it in my left pocket but being careful because the battery bank's in there and I keep my keys in my right hand pocket. So this is gonna be a little learning curve, if you will, for me of where I'm gonna keep my phone. Um, is there a... There are no inside pockets. Yeah, the only inside pocket of this jacket is the on the lower left side, and that is for the uh, battery. So there's a significant lack of pockets in this jacket, uh, which isn't that terrible of a thing. I would like to have had like one inside pocket maybe, but I don't need a whole lot of them. And I do like that uh, it does have the double zipper. I used to hate these double zippers, but they are, quite useful these days. I like them, especially if I'm wearing a vest underneath and I need to get to my vest pocket. I can zip up, I can get to my vest pocket, I can zip my jacket back down, as opposed to unzipping the entire jacket to get to the vest pocket. So I do like having this double, this double zipper. And the zipper itself, if I don't try to rush it, it actually works very smoothly, both directions is working very good. But the jacket feels good. I have a lot of movement in it now. I am only wearing a t-shirt underneath it, but I feel like I definitely have enough room to put a button down, a hoodie underneath the jacket. And there is a hood here. So. Oh, I tucked the. Ugh. Whoops. <laughs> 
Are you okay, Daddy? Mm -hmm. You got it on your mouth? Maybe it gets tighter. Is it really tight? So I could get myself nice and uh, snugged in here if I'm in a snowstorm. Oh, Daddy. Now there is no. Okay. There's a button. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the hood. And the hood appears to be. Yes, the hood is removable, so I could also take the hood off if I didn't want the hood. So there's no heating pad in the hood, and it is removable. So I like it that. Is it is removable. So I like that the hood's removable. So first impressions. Um, I like the fit. I like the cut of it. I have enough room in here to move around. I don't like how I can't change the zones. Um, I would like to maybe change the zones because sometimes, you know, it, I'm feeling it pretty warm in my, my back and like kind of up by my neck. I would like to maybe turn that off, especially if I have a skull. Let me up. turn it off for you. Go ahead and press that button. Oh, wait, press and hold it. Wait for the light to go out. There you go. Press and hold and the light goes out and the jacket turns off. Um, it's definitely got some ambient heat still, but I would like to have it zoned because I can feel it, the heat on my back of my neck. And I feel like that, at least me personally, that might make me overheat. So I would like to maybe I'll turn the back heat off if I didn't want that, at least not blast it all the way. I'll take but, your back heat off. Oh, you want to take my back heat off? Thanks, baby. Where's the back heat? <laughs> you can't take it off, baby. Take off. Hazel took it off. Perfect. Problem solved. But I like the I cut. Need to do an intro. It feels good. I definitely feel like I, I have enough it room. In the put it in the bun. Inside Thanks, the bun. sweetheart. I definitely feel like I have enough room inside it. The jacket itself doesn't feel too heavy. Um, I was a little bit worried originally when I got my very first uh, heated jacket that the jacket itself was just going to be super heavy because all the heating elements inside and the battery inside. It doesn't feel, I mean, there's a battery, so the battery's adding weight, but it doesn't feel terrible. It doesn't feel too heavy. Um, I like the cut, I like the feel of the jacket, so it definitely feels pretty good. And, uh, you know, there's only one way to tell how well it's actually going to work, and that's uh, it's going to be to wait another maybe two months before I can really start to wear it. We had a couple cold days last week, but we're looking at some 80-degree days coming up next week. Yes. So the weather's crazy here. Yeah, so crazy. Uh, we're just going to have to wait until it, it gets cold and stays cold and really toss this thing on and test it out for some EDC, uh, out and about in the city, going for some hikes. Uh, I'm really interested to see how this thing handles hiking, how it's going to handle um, with a backpack on and if I'm going to overheat with the heat on with the backpack on with the back heat on that's another reason I would like to see this be zoned if I'm wearing this hiking I don't want the back panel on because if I'm hiking and I'm generating body heat while I'm wearing a backpack that's going to make me sweat a lot so I would love to be able to turn the back off and maybe keep the front and the arms on but we'll see how it handles we'll see how it works and maybe I can and I just need to read the directions because uh there's not a it's not the the big tri triangular switch that has a one button for each zone so we'll figure it all out so hazel what do you think of this jacket thumbs up yeah it starts in the middle and goes up starts down and goes up did you know that i have a wiggly tooth hazel's got a wiggly tooth we're about to lose our first tooth five years old and we're already losing and teeth this is miss ruthie toothy and she wants to say hi. And she has a little pocket that I can put my little tooth in. Mm -hmm. See? Put your little wiggly tooth in there when it's no longer a wiggly tooth, when it's an Audi tooth. All right. So stay tuned for the full real user review. Buckle up because it might take a while before we get the cold weather to really test it out. But we will get there. So if you like this video, write any other videos, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Smash that big red button and ring that bell right next to it so you get notifications next time I post a brand new video. Good night. Say good night. Good night. <laughs>